some beautiful scenic views of Abingdon, Virginia from our next virtual visit location. Today we've been invited to come check out the William King Museum of Art here in Abingdon. A little bit of history about the museum is during his life, William King served on the board of the Abingdon Mail Academy, and in his will, he left a gift of $10,000, or lands to that amount, to build a home for the academy. The land chosen for the school was a hill overlooking the rest of the town adjacent to the Singing Spring Cemetery where William King was actually buried. That same hill is currently home to the William King Museum of Art that we know today. That Abbott and Mail Academy actually opened in 1824, and by 1830, there were over 40 students enrolled. This is a very neat gallery that I've actually saw once already by Jordan Fowler. This is essentially an interactive gallery where it brings together two different mediums. So we're actually seeing physical artwork in here, as well as the use of projectors to create movement within the art pieces. And this one is actually really neat. Um, you got these little dots here and they will actually start to track your hand and move towards it So you can see that they'll start to slow down slightly It was just really fun to be able to see artwork and pieces like this that incorporate Multiple types of mediums and the galleries here at the William King are always changing So you never quite know what you're going to find. I've saw some very large and extraordinary pieces in this gallery before the museum boasts several galleries between three floor spaces at your top level, your ground level, and on the basement floor. They also host a plethora of events in both the museum and their newly opened art lab, which we'll be seeing here in just a moment. See if anybody recognizes any of these faces here on the wall. There's Napoleon Bonaparte with his nephews and nieces. This is one of the larger gallery spaces here in the William King. On my last visit to the museum, this was a massive personal collection of clothing and accessories. So this whole wall here was actually filled with shoes and then there was purses. Definitely some always interesting and changing galleries going on here at the museum. Here of course is one of the newest exhibits. This is the selfie room. Plenty of options in here to go and take some fun selfie photos. One of the newest additions to the William King is the Art Lab. I got to visit Art Lab for the first time about three or four weeks ago. And it's definitely a really cool place. So let's take you along for a moment to visit. Along with various hands-on learning activities and classes at Art Lab, you're also able to see into live working artist studios, anything from painting to clay making and much more. It's definitely a great experience whether you're wanting to go get hands-on yourself or just see what some of the other artisans are up to. You have a fun Oh, I love the 35mm film back there. Isn't that nice? Oh, right. That's going to go in the middle of this structure. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this is going to be, you know... To, uh, anyway, it's in an early phase. This is, uh-oh, uh try to, trying to do the human scale here. Look at that. Here's your human. Ha <laughs> ha! No. Oh, I love it. This is fun! Oh, I hope so. <laughs> You've always doing something cool over here. <sighs> 
I had a really great time exploring the William King Museum of Art and their art lab and finding out about all the possibilities of things I could get involved with. Now, there were so many things that I could show and tell you about this particular museum, but I highly encourage you to go and learn and explore these things for yourself. There are so many galleries that are always changing and evolving, so many different courses and classes for you to learn hands-on how to do different things, whether it's pottery, painting, the digital space, and much more. So if you'd like to learn more about the William King Museum of Art, I highly recommend you going and paying them a visit in Abingdon, Virginia. But that about sums up today's virtual visit. I hope you enjoyed, and be safe exploring Southwest Virginia.